Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs Davies here and I'm back with our story of the week. So this week we're going to be learning all about The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Cole. So I'm going to read it to you today and then we've got lots of exciting ideas that we'll put on tapestry for your grown-ups. So here we go. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. And there's the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. There he is, and there's the sunshine. He started to look for some food. There he is, looking for food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, look how much he ate through all of these things. He ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. All of those things. That night he had a tummy ache. There he is. He's eaten all of that food and now he's got a tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again and the very hungry caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. There's the leaf. And there he is feeling much better after eating that green leaf. <gasps> now he wasn't a hungry caterpillar and he wasn't a little caterpillar either. He was a big fat caterpillar. There he is. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and he stayed inside, there's his cocoon, for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and can you guess what he was when he came out? If you guessed a butterfly then you are right. He was a beautiful butterfly. Look at that, all those lovely colours. Wow. Thank you for listening to the story. I hope you enjoyed that. And we're going to have lots and lots of ideas of activities that you can do linked to the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And we've got some more videos coming up this week as well with the other grown-ups at Hampton Infants sharing lots of ideas. So we'll be back soon with another story. Take care, boys and girls. Bye.